inspired partly by the work that was done last Monday in front of St Giles Cathedral and partly by the work of John Piper, I'm going to be putting together a mixed media piece uh, based on these cathedral images. And I'm going to be pulling out all the stops with uh, a variety of materials, collage papers, glue sticks, oil sticks or oil bars and oil pastels as well as chalk pastels and using those materials I'm going to try and extend the colour and the texture and the whole um, content of some of these drawings. So I'm going to work on this piece of card as my base and I'm going to combine some of the information that's in the different studies. I'd like to have the statue in front of the facade of the cathedral. So first I'm going to tear some pieces of collage paper. Must have a bit of mat for the sky. I've got some wrapping paper, which I think has got some of the colours I'll need for the cathedral. So I shall tear some of those shapes out. I could be cutting them, but I quite like to tear the torn edge. And really this is a process of laying down some shapes which can then be refined. And so I don't want, I don't want these shapes to be too precise, otherwise there'll be nothing left to refine. Thinking of using some of this very shiny wrapping paper as well. Can that work? Maybe put them over there. So these are all going to be stuck down with the glue stick. And then I'll apply the oil bar. So I want a, just one more shape for the statue, which is going to be in front of the facade. So I'm tearing out, and I'm going to tear that out as a single shape, although the statue as a combination of um, the metal work, it's also um, on a stone plinth, but I'll do that all as a single shape, which is going to go somewhere in front of the cathedral. Right, so I'll glue those down. So I'm just working with the glue stick. What I find is once I've arranged papers like this, you know, part of the value of the collage process is things can be moved around. But once I've found their position, I find it's quite useful actually just to temporarily stick everything to everything else, just so that it doesn't all get rearranged in the process. But this isn't properly glued. This is just holding things in place. Once I've found the arrangement that I like, so I'm just putting a few dots of glue everywhere. And then I'll take a bit more care about gluing things down properly. And I'm gluing them to the base. And because we're going to work over this with oil bar and with pencil and with pastel, it does matter to get the edges uh, well, well glued. So you'll have to do a little bit of thinking, deconstructing uh, of what's involved, just so that you make sure that everything is well glued. So this may be a sort of ultimate mixed media, because I'm probably going to use every, every material, every drawing material I have. So onto my collage shapes as we did when we were in front of St. Giles. I'm just putting down some chalk pastel and I'm gonna smudge that. So this is really to slightly refine some of those shapes of uh, the different parts of the subject. So there's the cathedral, there's the sky, and there's the um, sculpture. And of course these papers will respond differently, so there are discoveries to be made. The um, shiny wrapping paper doesn't 
have any interest in the chalk pastel. But you wait till I get a bit of oil bar on and then it will have to conform. So a few pastel shapes down and then let's get the oil bar on. And I will draw into that oil bar with the pencil. And again, papers will respond differently to these different materials. So it's definitely a, a process of discovery. Of discover, discovery and also one of having to really think of what to do next. So this process will give me some ideas and some challenges. And that will hopefully take me to a more interesting drawing. So as we did uh, on Monday, I'm now going to draw into the oil bar surface with a soft pencil. So this is a 4B. And I can start to delineate for the time being, I mean this, as, as we experienced with the oil bar, because it can be smudged and softened and these lines can be spread out or moved. This is just a, an initial uh, delineation and description. And I'm basing it very much on my drawings, but I could refer to some photographs perhaps, if I want to get a little bit more, well, either precision or a more faithful rendition of this particular cathedral. I could be working just with a kind of archetypal image. I'm not sure how well you're seeing all of that because everything's very shiny. But again, I think the best advice with the oil bar, I know it can appear to be very oily and that challenges you in a certain way. But I think the best advice is to get plenty of oil bar onto the surface. And depending on what surface is, you know, I've got all sorts of different papers here. Some of them are more absorbent, some of them are less absorbent. And the absorbent ones just need more of the oil bar. The shiny surfaces don't need very much at all because it sits on the surface. But there is a an initial stage, really, of trying to build up the material on the surface of of the image so that you can really put the, the the oil bar to work in softening and making the material much more fluid. So I might regret that bit of shiny paper, but I'm not going to regret it yet. So we've got collage paper, oil bar, uh, collage paper, pastel, oil bar, and then next believe it or not, is some um, oil pastel. So the oil pastel will probably take a lot better than some of these other materials. But I, I want to work with these layers. And although I'm going for some of the edges of those shapes to begin to refine them. I do want the different layers of material that I've applied to show through and play their part. So if I get a certain amount of material onto my sculpture, I think it would be good to begin to bring that out a little bit more 
And it might be I've got to take some lighter colours to that. I think I'll take a lighter colour to the cathedral front as well. And I did put a window in there, but my paper has got so dark, I can't quite see it. But I think it was a good choice of paper because the kind of paisley pattern that is on that paper, I can gradually isolate as part of the cathedral front. What about that colour? Need something slightly darker for these sticky out bits. So I'm gradually building up colour using the oil pastel, which, as I say, will take a bit better on some of these papers. And oil pastel is often a you know quite a slow sort of not fluid material, but working on this um, oil bar surface, uh, it can be made more fluid. And if I keep topping up the oil bar, I can continue to move things around and spread Spread some of those colours, either define things or soften them. You'll see that the oil bar isn't very clean, so I should make a point of keeping that clean as I spread the colour out. So I've put it up on the easel because I think you'll be able to see better what I'm doing and I'll be able to see better what I'm doing. I'm building up different uh, colours, responding in a way, partly to the papers, the original collage papers that are put down, uh, finding colours that will stand out, that will work on those different surfaces, but also working in a little bit instinctively to um, bring out, or to use colours that will bring out the things that I want to bring out and will soften the areas that I would like to be quieter. So I want to draw attention to the door at the base of the entrance. And I want to bring out my sculpture as well. So I can go back to the pencil. So that's a nice um, possibility that having put on the oil bar and the oil pastel I can then actually draw back into parts of parts of the image and introduce some some lines and it's either either the the black pencil going over the surface or I might even in some places be kind of cutting into the um the oil pastel and the oil bar but I would quite like a bit more black. I suppose it's the door that would be the black, particularly black shape, and that might mean that I've got to make some other areas a bit lighter. Turn off the film while I'm hunting for a black pastel. There we go. Something really black. That's nice. And that might have to come into the window. So as ever, this is this is a process, one of um, using a mixture of materials that don't necessarily have a predictable a predictable path, but by working with that unpredictable combination of materials. I'm hoping to produce something that's new, new to me. It's a new version of some of these sketches, but it is informed by the sketches 
that uh, I made in front of the cathedral. It'll be colourful, it'll be uh, full of texture, and I'm hoping that it will generate the sort of surprises that I might want to then use, you know, in a painting, or, yeah, well, it would be a painting, really. And there will be, because of this variety of papers, I've quite enjoyed using the these patterned papers. There may be something in that that would come into a painting or a, a new piece based on these studies. So a process that, that gives you ideas, challenges you a bit as well. Some of these papers are definitely challenging. And you can see it's not a bad idea to get them stuck down well stuck down before you start applying the various materials and sometimes I think particularly with this subject you know I'm finding that some colors are quite close and so maybe I've got to steer things away from each other I'm going to get a bit of pink into this parts of the sculpture so that the sculpture in front of the building really does have its own color scheme that will make it more distinct. So we'll be in the studio on Monday, and as I say, I'll be we'll be firing on all cylinders with a whole range of.